In this video, we're going to solve a linear equation that has several things going on, on both sides of the equation. As usual, we will always use the equal sign as our point of balancing. And before we start balancing, we like to simplify as much as possible on each side of the equation. On the left side of this equation, we notice this 4 in front of parentheses. We can distribute the 4 through parentheses to get 8x minus 24 plus 9. On the right side, there's also some simplifying we can do. On the right side, we notice that we can distribute through the 3 through the parentheses to get 3x minus 21 plus 8x. And as usual, after distributing through parentheses, we always like to check to see if we have any like terms. On the left side, you'll notice the like terms, negative 24 and 9. So we have the 8x still, and negative 24 plus 9 is negative 15. On the right side, the like terms you may notice are the 3x and the 8x. Combine those together to get 11x, and we still have the minus 21. Now we're ready to continue solving by balancing. Right now, the variable is on both sides of the equation. We like to move them to the same side, so we can start moving away from the variable. So we can get rid of 8 positive x's with 8 negative x's, so that they subtract out to 0, leaving us with negative 15 equals 3x minus 21. It's a two-step equation. We can start moving things away from the x by first getting rid of the 21 negatives with 21 positives. When I do that, we get 6 equals 3x. And finally, dividing both sides by 3 to get our final answer, x is equal to 2. We see this pattern as we solve these general linear equations. Simplifying first, which might mean distributing or combining like terms. Move the variable to one side, and then solve the two-step equation by adding or subtracting, and then dividing. As usual, we will like to check this answer to make sure it works. Um, let's plug it in plugging 2 in to the original equation for each of the x's. Notice x appears in three places. We have 4 times 2x, which we just found out was 2, minus 6, plus 9, and we want it to balance with 3 times x, which we found out to be 2, minus 7. We're running out of space. I'll move over a bit, try not to lose my work plus 8x, which is 2, going off the screen here. Order of operations requires us to do the parentheses first, and so we'll do that on both sides. So we have 4 times, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 6, plus 9. We hope that's equal to 3 times, 2 minus 7 is negative 5, plus 8 times 2. On the left side, we're still doing parentheses. On the right side, we can start multiplying from left to right. So we have 4 times negative 2 plus 9. Hopefully, that'll balance with negative 15 plus 8 times 2. Finishing up the multiplication on each side gives us negative 8 plus 9. We hope that balances with negative 15 plus 16. And sure enough, when we add these together, we get 1 on the left and 1 on the right. Our check works. We have found the solution for x that, when plugged in for all three of the x's in this problem, will give us a true equation. We have found the solution.